Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Sam Kovac. Today we're going to be talking about uh, the difference here, shooting hill style bows, okay? Straight limb hill style bows that we have like this right here. We're going to talk about that versus shooting a reflex deflex bow, mild reflex deflex. Now you'll notice when they're strung, they look very similar, okay, in shape. Um, but the grips are different, all right? And the, the limb design with the reflex deflex bow is a little different. Strong, they look similar, but you can see the, the locator grip on here. And then you can see on this, uh, on the, the hill style bow, it's a straight grip. Okay, that straight grip versus locator grip gives people some fits and some issues sometimes trying to understand how to shoot them. You shoot these very differently, all right? So when you shoot a, setting my, my bow down, when you shoot a reflex deflex bow like this, what a lot of people do is they're gonna get that hand right up in that locator, all right? And that makes sense here. I'm gonna make sure you can stay in focus here, so I'm gonna keep it here, but you're gonna get right into that locator grip and lock in. So a lot of people shoot these bows with, a, with basically pressure only here and here. Okay, that's where that pressure is. It's basically right here. A lot of them even look like this when they're shooting them in that style, in that design. It's more of a grip like that, okay? It's in it, that wrist is, is straight. See how that wrist is straightened out and that's how they're, they're shooting that bow is like that, okay? That kind of a setup. Um, or maybe even kicked in a little bit this way here and that's how it's done. But that pressure there is, is right in there and that wrist is straight and it's long and that arm is extended. And that's how people are used to shooting these. Um, I got arrows here, I'll shoot one real quick as a example. I have uh, not shot this bow in, in a couple of years. This is a Baraga, Northern Mist Baraga as well too. Amazing bow. I got my tab right here, let me grab my tab. And, uh, but this bow, um, the style that people are shooting these at is much more of a, um, so you watch that bow arm, watch that angle of that arm, make sure you can see me in here. Like I said, my camera's been kind of giving me fits here a bit. So yeah, you'll be able to see. All right, so that style, that grip comes in like this is how most people are doing it. They're coming in, finding that locator, tucking in, and that wrist is straight, as you can see, and that's that setup. They bring it back in, they line it up, and they shoot it, okay? That's how that's being shot. Um, nothing wrong with that. But you don't shoot hill style bows that way with that straight grip. They're not meant to be. And because of the limb design on a hill style bow and the straight limb aspect, uh, and, you know, the way they transfer energy in such a linear motion, you have that grip on there. This one you're going to do differently. If you try to shoot this the same way, it's going to, I'll do one the same way. So if I shoot this the same exact way I just shot that one, it is going to dance around in my hand. I'm going to feel it come up my arm. I'm going to feel that pressure. So if I have that same straight, it's even hard to lock that position. It's like brutal to try and get that. We're going to try it though. Oh, that's not comfortable at all. And see what I mean? You can't shoot a straight grip bow that way. It's not meant to be. This bow is not meant to have that straight line grip and it is not meant to have that hand cocked out, that hand there. This bow is meant to be shot with that bow riding straight along the base pad of that thumb, right there, straight down there. And that, so you should have that full transfer of energy as you grab that bow, should come in right there and set in like that. And then that whole hand should wrap right around that bow. That wrist is going to be a straight wrist. Look at the different, a bent wrist. Look at the difference there versus that, how everybody else is shooting those other ones. See that difference? Okay, so you want that grip right in your hand. That's the beauty of it. You don't have to be picky and find that locator. Grab a hold of the grip, let it ride right down that line, right in there, right down, straight down that line. Sorry, you can hear neighbor kids over there playing, but right there, locked in, get that hand right on it, wrap that hand around it, hold on to that bow. Hold it like you mean it. Okay, you don't have to squeeze it front to back or you don't have to crush it, but I mean, hold it like you, I do. I squeeze the heck out of it. And then when you draw that, that wrist is going to be bent. And then also, I still shoot with a pretty straight arm. Now that is not a smart thing to do with a hill style bow. Most people recommend losing that up a little bit. So when I shoot this, 
I do keep that arm pretty straight, which like I said, everybody that shoots hill style bows tells me that's bad. You get more shock through the bow that way. I, you know, it doesn't bother me. I'm shooting 720 grain arrows out of a 57 pound bow. It's not, it's not affecting me any to have that. But, so when I shoot this, so watch the location, the angle of the grip, or my wrist right here being bent, or you know, not being straight lined like we were in that one. It's got that full grip, heel down on that bow. Now I'm not putting heel pressure on that bow, okay? That heel down here, I'm not putting pressure down on that bow, but it's all resting on there. That whole grip, it's grabbing it like I grab a, like a bat or a hockey stick, and I'm gonna hold it that way. Now, bent arm, not bent arm, doesn't matter, but you should, they say you should have that arm, that elbow should be, um, you know, bent a little bit like this kind of thing. You can see it in there. See how it's bent a little bit? That's what you want so that when you shoot, you can push that forward is the plan. I, again, I'm always pushing and pulling at the same time, but I do leave that arm fully extended. But that should be, watch the angle of that wrist when I shoot this one now, okay? And I'll actually shoot it straight up and down. So, well, no, I didn't shoot the other one straight up and down either. But you see that grip on that. On that. So look at the difference here between that and that, okay? That's how these are meant to be shot. Full hand down, bring it back, line it in, and then let it go. Okay, that's how this is meant to be shot. It's a whole different animal, but that whole, all of that bow's energy you want in that whole hand, not just in the finger and the thumb. You want that whole hand wrapped on that bow. You want to hold on to it. Here's one with a bent elbow, like they say. Okay, so we bring that there. We keep that elbow bent a little bit, and there it is. Okay, and that's what you want. That's how you want to shoot this bow. Stuff, or tough, stern grip. Keep that elbow bent just a little bit if you want to. Again, I don't, but you should. And uh, But line that thing up. But hold on to that bow like you mean it. Not like these style bows where it's located in there and then that grip is a high grip like that. That's not what you're looking for. Okay, you don't want that. You want this on a hill style bow. Okay, it's going to transfer that and that's the way they're designed to be shot. So little tip for you that might make it a lot better. I've seen quite a few people that have bought hill style bows thinking it, you know, because I shoot them and I shoot them well and I shoot them a lot and I love them and I'll never go back to a R&D uh, style bow, but I see a lot of people try that and then they're really disappointed. They're like, I can't shoot it very good. I don't like the way it feels in my hand. If you're trying to shoot this bow like you're trying to and used to shooting this bow, here then you're in a whole world of problems this is they're not the same there's there's no it's like going from a longbow to a recurve and vice versa there you don't shoot them well actually a lot of bows today that way can be but uh on a hill style bow you you want to you you need to use that bow the right way and that grip matters especially on a straight limb like or a straight grip bow like that get that hand let it dive Sorry, the sun's coming in there. There we go. Let that hand dive in and fall right in there. Anywhere you grab it. But grab it and let that shot be a solid low wrist right there, just like that kind of a shot. Not like this or like that. Get that in there and set that heel into that bow. That pressure should run right down this side here with the main point of pressure being about right there. Not up here between your finger and your thumb where everybody else does it. Should be right in here, right in the meat of that hand is where that pressure should actually hit. Your hand should be right in that, nestled into that spot, right in there. So there you go. Good little tip for you on how to shoot a hill style bow and be accurate with it. Sun's coming out and getting kind of funny. I see the lighting hitting weird, but uh, thanks for watching and we'll be back with more stuff soon. Talk to you later. Bye.